Now, I think you should get out of the station now because Garrix is leaving and CIA is pointing at the mail slot. Hi, it's Double Nine Seventy Five, and welcome to Elite Dangerous on the Xbox. Uh, I had a rare sighting of Lord Garrix at the CG, and sadly, by the time we got into Super Cruise, he'd vanished, which is a shame because. Overall, I do actually enjoy tangling with Lord Garrix, um, you know, uh, if you watch a lot of my old videos, you know there's, there's a back and forth between us. There's a moment in Party Night video which I absolutely love, which somebody mentions Garrix, and me and Garrix see each other and immediately, I mean immediately, turn and ram each other. It's, it's like, it's been that kind of relationship ever since, you know, we've been on Xbox. There's been a few disagreements over the years, he's been a bit salty about things, but you know, all in all, I've enjoyed my time tangling with Lord Garrix. Um, sadly, <laughs> I don't think he's enjoyed his time tangling with me. Um, some of the messages he sent me was the reason why he doesn't feature very often in my YouTube channel. Because if he genuinely believes what he sent me, then, you know, I wouldn't interact with me either. Uh, but yeah, it was a shame that we did not see him on this night. Now, I'm going to pose a tile now. Just a mock IED a little bit, because they proclaim to be the White Knights coming to people's rescue, always bravely defending people at the CG, but let's face it, for the last few months they've been more, more like this. Yeah, they're not really producing the videos like they used to do years ago when there was like, you know, masses of them at the CG defending traders and they were making a big thing about how they were white knights defending traders from the likes of me. Um, I don't, you know, they just don't play anymore. There isn't IED, uh, pretty much, apart from one guy that I see at the CG as an American, the rest of them are pretty much a uh, non event BGS squad, which is a shame. But then a lot of their players migrated off and joined COPS, and then all of COPS have migrated off over to PC. Um, and let's face it, don't take my word for it, because my relationship with IED can be summed up really with this image. Um, that is my relationship with IED. Uh, it got quite fractious, it got quite bad. Um, they described me as the most toxic player on Xbox. Um, a compulsive liar and mentally ill. Um, and I complained about them doxing me and stalking my missus on Facebook. So, you know, swings and roundabouts, not the best start to a relationship, it's got to be said. Uh, but, but, you know, um, over the years, I've enjoyed interacting with Lord Garrix, and I will give them their due. The guy who doxed me, they did, and uh, stalked my missus, they got rid of. So he's no longer a member of IED, and they did the honourable thing. So way better than Spear. Um, at least they get rid of doxers. Uh, but... Overall, Lord Garrix, I like him. You might not get a GG, you might get something sent to you otherwise. But, you know, he is a fun guy. And, you know, he is what he is. He's unapologetically Garrix. And, um, yeah, I kind of respect that, you know. And they always they didn't like me criticising their RP and their use of Primo, Healy Beams and Crimes. Um, you know, and Paula War said that was just my opinion, man. They didn't do any of that stuff. Uh, even though he commented himself that they used Primo for various reasons, fighting toxicity when outnumbered or home defense. Um, so, yeah, everyone knows they use Primo because they told us they use Primo. And as to the other things, well, Garrett's confirms that himself in this lovely message. That was a real sweet message I got from him one night, I must admit. My reaction was this. He then went on to say that I was a um, reason. In, the reason I don't feature him very often is because he sent me messages saying that I was a what was it? A, like a lying narcissist driving to people to suicide with my over-the-top personal attacks in my videos, which I thought was a little bit harsh because I don't really go in for many personal attacks in my videos. But hey, you know, I <laughs> apparently defending yourself against lies by pointing out their lies is personal attacking people. It's like. Yeah, I, unfortunately I have to call someone a liar if they've lied about me. Now, if you're worried about me ganking at the CG, honestly, this wasn't ganking. Um, Pirates R Us assured me he had very good reason for going after all these targets, and he's my wingman. 
So, you know, I listened to him and um, he said it was fine. Let's just go on a murder spree at the CG. Honestly, these guys are all legitimate targets. I did double check with Dark Owl and Dark Owl said we were free to absolutely slap anyone at the CG. And it was all fine and plain sailing, all smooth. So, you know, I checked before we went on this murder rampage on a Tuesday night. Uh, but yeah, uh, I was away for the Wednesday, which would have been the last night of the CG. So we had our blowout on the Tuesday. Um, went around and killed some people at the CG, had a bit of fun. Um, in search of Garrix and uh, someone else that attacked me earlier at the CG that decided to combat log. Um, I, I blame the combat logger for en enraging me enough that I would, wanted to go and murder everyone at the CG. Well, honestly, to be honest, I would have gone back to piracy, but pirates or us seem to be having fun, so I thought I'd join him. And uh, he was in his flechette build, so these poor pilots were having their thrusters and FSDs taken out by pirates or us and then being melted by my boom de lance. It's kind of harsh. And then Al joins in and brings a dirty great Corvette along and hangs with Corvettes. So we had some fun fighting, we didn't have it all my own way, I took one rebuy um, after I um, drove block drone away and left myself on 5000 degree heat. Um, I might bring you that clip separately because it's, it's a funny clip of like how quickly my beams of lance shreds through block drone shields and that. But I went into silent running and left myself on 5000 degree heat, jumped out and then looked at my heat and went, ah, I'm dead aren't I? I should have just stayed and suicided into the Corvettes, but you know, that's, that's the way it is. <laughs> Uh, yeah, overall, um, I've been having fun times on the Xbox. There's not been any lawfuls around, so we've been free to do whatever we like and murder everyone at the CG. Now, as to the lawfuls on PC, uh, good luck to you all over there. I hope you um, do very well for yourselves over on PC. Uh, learn the ropes. Um, anyone looking to add to their ranks, um, you know, most of the lawfuls are a good bunch of dudes. There are a couple that are definitely spear only uh, type of guys that, you know, we really only fit in with the spear mentality. Um, the whole, if you're a bad guy in real life, you're a bad guy in game. Uh, that's one of the things that, you know, I do always struggle with because it's difficult to argue with a guy and claim he's a bad guy in real life when he um, helps fund an animal rescue charity and raises money for an animal rescue in videos taking the mick out of you. That's awkward. It's a bit of a difficult one. It's probably why most of my debates send up um, with IED members ends up with them swearing at me and calling me a mentally ill liar and having no evidence for anything. And then when I challenge them on that, they disappear off. It's, it's amazing. Or even better, they make crazy comments on Facebook and then delete them later. Um, yeah, there's one member of um, IED of old that's now in COPS. I won't mention his name, but he was absolutely legendary for deleting comments. Like, just posting the most ridiculous stuff like you know oh yeah um so it's fine to dox certain people and then deleting it off the perfect candidate for spear absolutely he used to fly with a humor on pc uh, sorry on playstation so i'm surprised he doesn't want to fly with him now on pc um you know uh, the sort of guy i definitely definitely think spear is the perfect home for him at uh, one moment i'm just going to catch up with the guys Say that. That's Gankam first. It is quite nice actually. Now they're all gone, um, I have to do less time uh, defending my reputation and defending myself against accusations about being a mentally ill, lying freak. Um, and I can just get on and play and just GPG people and have fun. Uh, the new IED members, um, the American guy I've spoken to at CGs. <laughs> They seem lovely and like completely like oblivious to the old style IED way of arguing, so that's good. Um, Paul of War, he doesn't play anymore. His carrier is parked in our home system, but I haven't heard or seen hide nor hair of him in uh, such a long time. Um, you know, old as Bladeborn's having a Corvette tournament soon, so maybe he'll come rocking up for that. I don't know. That'd be, it would be fun to see him if he does, but you know, I doubt it. Um, seriously do doubt it. Um, talking of Corvettes, this one, yeah, we took out its power plant, we took out its thrusters, I think Pirates Rust got its thrusters, we helped taking out its power plant, and it just wouldn't die. Um, there were two other guys circling around, like, so um, we ended up having to uh, switch target and leave this Corvette to um, Owl's Tender Mercies, because he'd brought a vet of his own along. Um, 
Yeah, I wonder if Al's going to take part in Alders's big ship tournament. Uh, though, to be fair, Jordo says he's coming back from PC to fight in it, so that's pretty much a pointless event. Uh, <laughs> must have just give Jordo the trophy now. Um, which, yeah, will probably put a few people off because, you know, there's a few people that I don't, don't like to lose. I might end up just for the fun of it and hope that I get a, a plasma vet because um, I can really do well against plasma vets. Multi cannon vets will destroy me in no time at all because my shields are silly. Uh, but mine's not a not good. It's a troll build. I built it to uh, succeed at two things: having nine thousand shields and over you know and over a certain weight. And I succeeded at both of those things just about. Um, the fact the shields are absolutely rubbish and have no resistance whatsoever. And uh, you know, um, incendiary multi cannons will just rip me a new one. It's neither hide nor hair because the whole point was just to build a ramming, stupid, crazy build with four shell cannons, and that I achieved. Um, I should go back and strip it down and restart it, um, but you know, such is life. I'm, you know, I have so many different projects on the go, and I'm not really a big ship guy. I'm rubbish in big ships. Um, I'm terrible with like, you know, big ships. Um, I use them for specific purposes, like my Condor I use for hunting other bigs, and my um, Corvette I use for trolling people and shooting people into planet surfaces for fun. Um, yeah, But I'll just leave this voice clip in to show that we did actually eventually kill that Corvette. Uh, I'll talk that out. One moment. Is that vet dead yet? Yeah, yeah. Um, at least it did take a while to die. There we go. It's like I say, it's been nice without the lawfuls on Xbox. Um, there are some of the lawfuls that I could definitely do without, and they know who they are. Um, and uh, if you've been a fan of my channel for a while, you'll probably know which ones I'm talking about. The ones that should definitely just fly for spear and nobody else. Uh, yeah, definitely. If yeah, if, there are a couple of guys out there, but you know, if you want to keep a good reputation for your squadron, don't let them in. <laughs> let them fly for spear where they belong, because you know their ethos and their attitude is just purely and purely like spear all over. Uh, you know, there's the sort of people that will go, oh, I'm big on respect, but then like spend months spreading lies about you and then not have any sense of irony that that's just amusing because uh, they got all they got all butt hurt because you said something minor about an in-game thing when they go straight to personal attack level and like you're like really um one, one of them very recently showed his absolute ignorance to what happened between me and um certain people because he he said to me that like that my, what happened to me was like one death threat that you know if I'd have received one death threat he'd been able to understand it's like well I got eight months of death threats and that didn't bother me that was the, it was the creepy stuff going on with my missus on Facebook and that's at the point where I was like nah that's going beyond the pale and then they even went on above that and doxed me so you know uh, yeah that was awesome and also you know, anyone willing to take it to a personal level or bring your personal uh, life into a video game you know or dig through your Facebook or your history and like just be weird and creepy you don't want to play video games with those people just don't you know someone who's going to spend ages you know telling everyone you're a compulsive liar but can't come up with one thing you lied about not the sort of person you want to play video games with uh, you know the sort of person that would chat shit behind your back but won't come into party chat to talk to you about it you don't want to play video games with those type of people so don't avoid those type of people let them join Spear where they belong uh, that's what I say but all in all uh, Xbox has been a quiet a place without all the uh, lawful PvP types uh, you know all the cops types and all the really good PvPers have gone like um, Walking Dead, Flipper Gold, Trajan, Wigsplitter you know the really good PvPers they, they also have left they're all on PC sweating it out I'm still watching Flipper Gold's videos from time to time um, 
he doesn't post as often as I would like, but you know, when he does a video, I take notice because he is so good at PvP. Um, I'm sure he'll fit right in with the ranks of the PvPers on PC and learn his way through because he's, you know, he's so skilled. Um, yeah, his his flying is super evasive and he's just so accurate with his weaponry. Um, yeah, Walking Dead taught those kids well, and I'm sure, well, Walking does brilliantly on PC, so I'm sure those kids will follow suit and become a real force to be reckoned with on PC. As the others, all the members of COPS and all that, and all, all my friends that are on PC that are sweaty tryhards, good luck over there. I hope you do really well, you know. Um, you know, as a, as a gimbal scrub, I have no interest in who's really good at PvP and who's not. I am going to miss fighting against certain people. I always enjoyed fighting against Wig Splitter and Flipper and Trajan and, and walking. Because, you know, you just measure out how long you're going to last um, in minutes and see if you can survive past the five minute mark. And it's, uh, you know, a fun encounter. Um, and, you know, I'm no great shakes when it comes to PvP, but my builds are tough and I kind of know what I'm doing to a certain extent. Though, yeah, overheating myself to um, do damage, that's, you know, exactly what I get up to. But, yeah, good luck to all the PvPers over on PC and good luck to all the lawfuls that are going over to PC. Um, you know, um, have fun over there, do your thing. Um, I'm sure Spear are glad that they're going to have so many new members because, you know, uh, <laughs> some of the lawfuls that have gone over will fit in perfectly with Spear. Uh, one moment. Eventually. Oh yeah, and one last thing to the lawfuls that have gone over. Thanks very much for abandoning everyone on Xbox so we can slaughter them. It's a, it's a joy, thank you very much, and I've been having a wonderful time pirating without being chased around by people in FDLs. Anyway, that's all for this video, thank you very much for watching, I'll catch you in the next one. Um, and GG to everyone up at the CG, it was a fun night, um, and uh, yeah, it was all GG's.